Oh, they're huge. Whoa. And they have udders. Well, they've always had udders. So we can... <laughs> I saw a horse wing gracefully through the morning mist. A heron, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> she's surrounded by corn and melons, but she's she's getting to work. Her mother was a slime, and her father was a salmon berry, you know. Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Stardew Valley. This is episode 24, so if you do need to catch up with the series, there's a playlist link at the top of the description. So last time, we talked about some update news, had a surprise visit from the Crop Fairy, and next to my new steel axe, we went into the secret woods. I got enough hardwood at long last to build that stable I've been looking forward to. And that is my goal today. We're gonna have to make a bit of a mad scramble to have it happen, but I'll go into that in just a second. First, welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Most towns have a seasonal calendar in front of the general store. It's a good idea to check on that now and then to get a feel for what's going on in the community. Make sure to check for any job postings as well. Well, we already knew that, but thank you, old man who lives in my TV. So I'm gonna get my iron going. We need a couple more bars here. And we have enough hardwood. The only thing we're lacking is the money. So I've got a plan for that. Let's check the mail first before we go crazy here trying to make this happen. Adam, I made you a little treat this morning in the saloon. Dig in, your friend Gus. Ooh, that looks like a, a fat stack of slapjacks. Let's see, pancakes. A, uh, ooh, foraging, a double stack of fluffy soft pancakes. I, just like in real life, if you eat maple syrup, you get better at cutting down trees, okay. So, uh, so I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff here. I should let the animals out first. But my goal is to, rather than wait for the, the crop box to give me money, I'm gonna sell a bunch of this stuff to Pierre because if we wait till tomorrow, the carpenter is actually closed on Tuesdays. And that's not gonna work. We'd have to wait all the way till Wednesday and even longer than that to get our little horse. So I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna try my best to have that happen today. How you doing, Bach and Peep? And where's Drumstick? Is that the last one we need? Come on, little cows. They're still worried about the chickens. I think the chickens are really owning this area and they're like, hey, you stay in that barn. Oh, they're huge. Whoa, and they have udders. Well, they've always had udders. So we can, <laughs> we can say no, no babies allowed. We don't have room for babies, but that's, that's interesting. Okay, can we milk them? Let me get my uh, milk pail. This is distracting me from my real goal, having a cute little horse. But, uh, but yeah, let's, let's try to do that. I should grab the eggs while we're at it as well. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Lorraine, the lonely chicken. Get out there, Lorraine. All right, so uh, if I get my milk pail, I already bought that because I knew it wouldn't take too long for these guys to grow up after the chickens sprouted in size after only five days. But let's grab this here. Let me make sure we get our, uh, our bar going. Is that one done? No, it's still cooking. All right. But, uh, but yeah, now we can start getting milk as well, so they're gonna pay for themselves, hopefully. All right, little Coco, give me some chocolate milk. Here we are. That's not gonna have any, any difference, but yeah. Milk, a jug of cow's milk. So it's got a little more energy and health than an egg, and because these guys cost more, I think it's gonna give us some more in the long run anyways. What are you doing? He's just like rubbing its side. That's not how you do it. We'll uh, censor that with the grass there. Okay, did we get... We got three. Where's our last? We're missing a cow. Oh! Um, <laughs> sound like he tooted or something. There we go. This one. Which one are you? Not drumstick. Hey, you're not drumstick. Whitney, you're trying to blend in with the chickens. Hey, I thought we got... Which one are we missing? There we go. Okay. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get that right. Uh, can we build... <sighs> There's a thing. Yeah, the cheese press. We might have enough to do that. Then we can get some more money. Basically the same idea as the mayonnaise machine. So let me grab some wood here. I think we need copper. I can throw this in there. We can't really go do the stable yet anyways because I gotta get that iron going. So this isn't delaying or anything. Let's try this. Cheese press, we need stone. Oh, I have very few stones. But that actually is enough to make one of these. I'd like to make two. But there we go, we have a cheese press. All right, so let me get this stuff going. I think I need to put something into my uh, my little, uh, what is it? The preserves jar. Let me grab some corn or something. A blueberry preserve could be interesting. Maybe I'll try that. We gotta move some stuff around here. So let me, uh, let me hit this and uh, move it maybe back here. There we go. And then I can put, I'll probably put the preserves jar a little farther back since I don't need to access it every day or anything. Go 
right there, and the cheese will go here. There we go. Okay, so let's put this in. I'm not going to be able to do all this milk in one day, most likely, especially especially if we're very busy and running around, because it does not look like uh, it's going to happen with one cheese press. But hopefully we'll have enough stone here soon to, yeah, we need like 40 more or whatever. Okay, I'm going to keep my pancakes. I might just eat those, actually, because it seems like we could use the energy. Let's do that. There we go. Plate and all. Down the hatch. And we got... Oh, we got four... Oh, that's what it meant. It didn't just give us the skill. It just made us better at chopping stuff down. Speaking of which... Ooh. Okay. There's so much to, to keep track of. There's also some peppers here I should grab. In addition to everything I gotta do today, we also have to water all these crops. So hopefully I can make it happen. But uh, we do need a little more hardwood. So I'm gonna see... There's a, there's a nice looking stump. Let's chop this down. That should help us get more stuff. Is that what happens with that? Oh, we need one more. There's got to be another big stump around here. There we go. Hey, excuse me. I'm going to have to chop some of these saplings down if we're going to get over there. Oh, no. This is uh, this is rough. This is why I need to clear this stuff out a little better, because we're just going to have a tough time getting over to where I need to go. There we go. Okay. The clock is a ticking here. We do have uh, tons of crops we can sell. I don't think I need to really save most of that. It did seem like it chopped it faster, so I can grab a little bit of wood while we're over here as well. But again, if I burn too much energy doing other stuff, then I'm going to collapse before I can get all my crops watered. And that's kind of, that's the goal that i got to keep going or else we're going to run out of time here at the end of the season for stuff to grow. Almost forgot my hops. There we are. I think everybody's good. All the cows are mooing and happy. Do we need to save any, uh, I'll save another couple blueberries here but yeah we can sell like all this stuff get a ton of money and uh throw a few of this stuff up. my inventory's getting a little crowded here but we should be good with most of that our bar okay we're good to go we got our five iron bars our hundred hardwood tons of stuff to sell with pierre i'm just gonna leave this copper here though we don't need that and uh i'll keep the milk and just try to do my best to uh to make sure that gets turned into cheese, because that's going to help us in the long run. All right, guys. Hold down the farm while I'm gone. Ham bone. Peep. All the bunch. <laughs> We're going to uh, to get this going. Now, I think uh, you can line up the stable with your house, and it looks really cool. It has the roof, like, perfect. Same color and everything. I've seen other people do that. But the only problem is, I think I'm going to have to destroy a crop or two to, to make that happen. But it's a worthy sacrifice. Mmm, a fre uh, farm fresh hot pepper for Linus. We could actually do that while we're up there, because I have a single hot pepper. What a co what a coincidence there. Okay, let's see. They might do that if, yeah, you have the thing. I love animals, Mr. Adam. If you treat you as well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. Yeah, we're already good friends. You gave me a dog and a bunch of cows. Okay, so we just do this, right? Yep, there we go. That's what I accidentally did with my seeds before. I bought a ton of seeds and then... Sold them right back at a discount. Pierre was like, yeah, keep doing that. <laughs> That's how I'm going to stay in business with Joja Mart breathing down my neck. All right. So we're heading up here. If we see Linus, if he's not wandering around too much, then we can give him his pepper. But uh, what other quests do we have? Pam still wants her pale ale, and we need to go deeper into the mines. But we're so close to the end of summer here. I'm betting fall is going to have a lot of rain, lots of time to uh to go into the mines what are you doing over here abigail my pet guinea pig david just hates this hot weather he's fussy okay <laughs> he's snooping around the uh the carpenter shop here all right let's construct a new building so we've done a coop we've done a barn sometime a well might be nice but i can just go to the pond i do want to make this silo before the winter and here it is the stable we've got the gold we've got the hardwood and the iron bars let's do it okay oh everything's ready so I think if I line this up right like this, it will be perfect, but we're going to have to destroy one of my melons, unfortunately. Better than uh, a bunch of corn. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> we can't do it because it's it's uh, it's got a crop in the way. Also, I think it's saying that we can't build there, but we should be able to, like, let it. Ah! All right. I'm going <laughs> to look at all those messages. I'm going to try my best to get back. We have a couple hours. I can do it. Is Linus around? I don't care. We uh, we got time to give him the pepper. I don't have time to get this done. So let me go destroy one of my precious melons, and we'll see if we can pull this off. 
Okay, guys, so unfortunately it seems like in the recent patches you can't actually build the stable right up next to your house, but there is a workaround, so I'm gonna build it here, and uh, I'll show you guys how we can do this, or at least I'll tell you. Okay, I'll start working on your new stable first thing tomorrow morning. All right, we did it, with only like an hour or so to spare. But basically, there's a way in a Reddit post I found by user ZuffDaddy, I'll put it in the description, but you're able to edit the save of where a building is before the update that is gonna come out sometime here where we can actually move the buildings around. This is the only way to move stuff around. And there is a way to edit it so that the stable is right connected to your house like you were able to do in the past. So it's unfortunate that that changed, but I'm gonna try to do that once the stable is built. I'll put that link for you guys if you wanna try it yourself. Make sure you back up your saves though. I saw a horse wing gracefully through the morning mist. A heron, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> such are the treasures of a quiet life. A heron? Oh, awesome. You might have seen my logo. All right, here you go, buddy. Oh, so you saw the notice I posted. It looks perfect. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. What did we get? A good amount of gold, hopefully. There we go. All right. I'm glad he's happy. It seems like he's just, like, burying all his gold behind the bush where he takes showers and goes to the bathroom. All right, uh, but yeah, so it is a little unfortunate about the stable, but I'm gonna make it work. I'll find a way. And you guys can see uh, how mine works out with fair warning though, you know, it could mess up stuff if you accidentally move it into something and uh, and uh, there's a, like a stable in your bedroom or something. You don't want that to happen. Okay, we don't have much time here. I did get my, my one thing of cheese. Look, it looks so weird with all the crops, but I'll uh, I'll figure it out here. Yeah, let's let's keep putting this in and uh, making lots of cheese. I'll sell some of that and do my best here in the little time that I have remaining to water all my crops. I'll see you guys at the end of the day. All right, I pulled it off. I'm exhausted, had to eat a bunch of food, but we made it happen. How much did we make? Not much, because we sold a bunch to Pierre. So we got a bunch of money a little faster than usual. Let's see how the farm's doing. I had a big revelation. Oh, okay, looked like a cutscene at first. I had a big revelation that I'll have to show you guys. A shocking turn of events down at the coop and barn. It's gonna be sunny, and how's our luck? Good humor, okay, I'll take that. All right, so, uh, oh, <laughs> she's surrounded by corn and melons, but she's, she's getting to work. There we got our cheese and everything. Now down here, unfortunately, all those fences I had made are starting to rot because I did a lot of it at the same time, so I'm gonna have to build some more fences. Let's see, just make a good handful. I was trying to save up my wood for, for different other projects and things, but we really gotta repair this place. Is that fence gonna fix itself once I fix this? There we go, okay, good. I was gonna say, this is uh, not looking too hot. If I had extra stone, I would make this place into uh, mostly like a stone area. It would last a lot longer. But unfortunately, we don't have the resources for that right now. Still saving up to try to get that silo going. So let's get all this fixed. Well, I could probably, as long as this doesn't rot too quickly, I'll worry about this later. We're just gonna get our milking done and everything. And, uh, <laughs> sounds like he's just making little toots when, uh, when you miss the cow a little bit there. They're doing well, don't you escape. I don't think they would leave the farm or anything, so we're probably okay. But at the same time, I don't wanna chance it. I've seen the way Peep looks at the open road. He's got wanderlust, or she. <laughs> they really want to get out of here. Oh no, M uh, Mamu has no milk right now. Weird. It's probably like the eggs where they're not going to have it every day. So we only got three. Did we remember to pet Mamu last time? I wonder if that was the problem. They're doing good though. They're, they're getting hearts. All these chickens going out into the sun to, to bask in the sunbeams. Let me grab the eggs. Here. There we go. Yeah, it does seem like it's just kind of, kind of like some days you have a bunch of eggs, some days you have a bunch of milk, some days it's mayonnaise and cheese. Okay, we got a lot of, oh, lots of harvest since we're getting towards the end of the season. Shouldn't be too surprised. We're gonna have a lot of extra money here. Yeah, we didn't even spend all that much technically. We got a bunch of it back still. And our, sa our stable is gonna be ready very soon. I'm excited. So I do have a name for the horse. I'm gonna keep it in, the, in secret until Next episode, when that is done, hopefully. Oh, those aren't quite ready. We do have one lone radish. Oh no, these are all good. Oh no, yeah, the ones like above, I, I have a lot of uh, trouble with syncing up all my waterings because especially if I wait till the end of the day, 
when it's too, you know, uh, too dark out to really see exactly what stuff I've watered and what I haven't, it can get a little tricky, so have some trouble here. All right, I'm not going to worry about trying to fill all these spots in because it's all going to get messed up when the season turns over anyways. And I think that's it for today. Oh, is this harvestable? No, can't cut that quite yet. I'm leaving those flowers there. If you guys uh, didn't know about the, the bee house, I think we covered that before, how if you have flowers around, then it will affect what type of honey you get. So I'll leave those there for now. Just gotta make sure I pick them before the season's over. And uh, we got a salmon berry, weirdly out of season. The bats somehow found a lone salmon berry. You can also kind of see I put some torches around because it was very tough to see and, uh, and get all that stuff done. So there we go, look at all this stuff. Right, are we, we're good on the golden corn, right? Yep, we are. And uh, yeah, I think everything else can get sold here. I should probably save some peppers. I've got a good amount, yeah. We're all right, I'll sell everything. Let's just get a ton. <laughs> I just feel bad for Robin. Hopefully she can see what she's doing, surrounded by so much stuff. There we go, that's all going in the bin. And I'll save that salmon berry. I don't know if I have any left. I used to give them to like everybody as gifts. I have like a foraging thing here. There we go, we already have one. But yeah, they were they were popular gifts back in the spring, but I, I managed to get rid of all of them almost. Uh, let's go into town and see what's going on. Give Robin some peace to do her work. You don't want to be breathing down the neck of the plumber or the carpenter or anyone that comes to your house to, to work on stuff. I feel like that would just stress them out and they'd make a, sh a shoddy piece of work for you. Okay. So yeah, the roof here on Harvey's Clinic kind of is going to look similar to how my stable should if I can get it into the right spot. We're not buying any seeds. I, I'm always tempted to go get more, but we're so close to the end of the month. Let's check the calendar while we're at it and see. Yeah, it's the 23rd. Tomorrow's Willie's birthday, and there's an event before the month is over, but yeah, we only have a couple more days, and if I planted stuff today, that doesn't even count as a day of growing, so very few things. Maybe hay we could do, but other than that, there's not really much that we can try to plant. I think I might head down to the beach here and see if we have anything. Well, I said that, and then I go this way. I want to see if they have any, uh, any shells down there or whatever, but also I got to check, check all the trash cans, of course. I'm looking for the, the worms because I feel like we're close to, oh, there we go, that's something to do too. I feel like we're close to getting the uh, the amount that we need to or of artifacts to get an extra award from the museum. So let's, uh, let's keep our eyes open. I gotta make sure I really am doing that because I miss them all the time. Let's put the geode in and, oh, I'll take it. It costs, it was like five gold per stone, but I'll take it. I don't mind if it's gonna get me some extra stone. All right, so let's head down to the beach, see what's happening there. Kind of a laid back day after yesterday, being so crazy, trying to get that stable done, but I'm glad I did. It's uh, a little sad making Robin work on her day off though. I've encountered some beautiful shells in front of my house. I would imagine the rarer varieties to be quite valuable. I don't see any. Oh, there is one, okay, he wasn't lying. I think he would say that regardless anyways. If my hair wasn't so popular with the ladies, I'd swear to shave it off in a second. Oh, he's real warm. I guess, because it is summer. Let's grab some clay. Got ample clay to build that silo. Do you wear this clothes every day? Yeah, they're both, both of these beach bums over here, Alex and Haley, love to be insulting, but apparently they do, you know, warm up on you. If you talk to them enough and worm your way, wiggle worm your way into their heart. <laughs> There's good stuff over here, a good amount of things, because I don't go here that often, but if you let it rack up, it, it seems like get a good amount of money it's worth the time and energy what are you <laughs> got three seagulls sitting in a line out in the water waiting for me to drop an egg or or a clam for them to snatch up I, I know what you're up to okay so I guess I'm gonna head back and do some chores I don't know if there's too much going on but if we went to the mine I would have like no energy to water all my crops I promise when we get into the new season and it starts raining more, I will make an effort to go into the mine and do some more adventuring because I definitely want to be able to get some materials down there. The sound of farm animals is great, isn't it? It is. I don't trust her purple eyes. No. <laughs> they just, uh, they look like they're more fantasy than this game usually tends to be, but there are like weird slimes and different monsters, so. But she seems like she's like, her, mo her mother was a slime and her father was a salmon berry, you know. <laughs> Monty, maybe think of Monty Python. All right, grab the spice berry. Oh, you know what we could do? 
This won't take much effort, and it'll be something a little more exciting. We'll go into the secret woods one more time here. And uh, I know a bunch of you guys in the comments let me know I was missing certain plants. I didn't pick up on it, but there's there's plants in the uh, the woods here that I didn't see that we could pick up. So hopefully we'll find some. And I do have my sword, so we should be okay. I'm trying to keep my eyes out for what the, they were. But of course, good way to get this hardwood. Hey, I saw ya. Oh, I tried to block. Couldn't do it in time. The slimes are kind of tricky for being like the more basic enemy. They tend to... Uh, to not attack exactly when you'd think they would. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if that worked. I kind of hit it late, but it seemed like it might have. Be careful with my energy levels here. But I'll get all the hardwood that I can and keep my eyes open for stuff to pick. Because apparently there was things to forage that I completely missed. You gotta look out for that little plus sign and see if it pops up over anything. I'm still wondering about old Master Cannoli. If he's like alive somewhere, hiding, or... That statue is just, you know, uh, something he built, even though he he isn't dead. <laughs> He's just like, this is in memory of me. I'm wandering around the forest somewhere. Because, yeah, old Master Cannoli's still searching for the sweetest taste. He wants something sweet. I wonder if we have to, like, bring something really sweet, like candy or something for him. Let me see. I wonder if the, uh, I'm not seeing anything to pick necessarily around here, but it might be in this little hidden alcove. Can we get in over here? Or no, we have to go around and get in that one spot. Oh, what is this? It's... Oh, my inventory's full. I'll throw that out. It's a fiddlehead fern. What are those? The young shoots are an edible specialty. Oh, okay. There we go. I bet that's in a bundle or something, so good to hold on to that. Any slimes down here gonna make my life tough? Yeah, they look a lot like the grass, so I'm not too surprised with myself that I, that I missed them before. But there we go. I wonder if they sell for much. Okay, well, get my way out. I'm always thrown off by the fact that it kind of goes over to the left or the right a little bit. Okay, so we got more hardwood. That is definitely a great source of hardwood because it's uh, it respawns all those those little stumps every day. It seems like so it's very easy to get them. All right, I think I'm gonna get all my uh, my farm work done. I always say my chores like I'm a little kid. Get all my farm work done. And uh, I'll see you guys towards the end of the day. All right, just narrowly <laughs> finished everything in time. Robin really needs better work hours. She's still here after midnight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Ooh, our combat leveled up for just fighting a few slimes out in the woods. Plus five HP, and we can make a roots platter. Ooh, all right. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time where we're going to meet our new horse. Goodbye.